when you're building high performing teams, diversify thought, ideas, and experience as much as you can. And I don't mean just skin color, height, weight, and other physical, visual attributes. I mean thoughts, experiences, perspectives. Bring people in who are going to push against your narrative. And make you think, not to be combative and make things difficult for no reason at all, but someone who's going to say, hey, boss, um, you said 1, 2, 7, and 19, but I don't see that working, here's why. Or I think there's a better way. So when you're building high-performing teams, high-performance teams, focused on innovation, creativity, challenging status quo, ushering in new future, enabling that future for the entire organization or industry, bring people who are going to be courageous enough, comfortable enough, and obviously knowledge, um, knowledgeable and experienced enough to bring that conversation forward, to not be hesitant, to not be shy, to not be afraid to speak up. Because at the end of the day, if you really want to take your organization to a new level, you don't need more of you. You need more of them. You need more of other people, their thoughts and perspectives. You don't want people around you who simply nod heads if they disagree. You don't want people who simply pacify you and say, sure, I agree with what he said or she said. Build people and build teams who bring and leverage their own strengths and capabilities who are there to complement, right? And add, be a value add to your own skill set. And then that's how you build a team that's going to succeed and move forward. You don't want yes men or women around you who are going to agree with everything you say, especially if deep down inside and privately, they actually think there's a better idea and better path forward. So create the culture where it's safe to share descending opinions, thoughts and ideas in private, confidentially behind closed doors, because that is how you grow. That is how they grow. That is how team and the organization as a whole will grow in advance. So you don't need more of you on your team. You need other people, other thoughts and other perspectives because that is how you minimize blind spots and you create an environment that is poised for that next level, that next plateau that you're all aiming to reach. Now, once you reach that plateau, don't settle on that for too long. Enjoy a bit, celebrate. It's important to celebrate. I don't think we do that enough in business today. Celebrate your accomplishments and achievements. Recognize people, reward them. And then set the next goal. Set the next level higher. Because it is that pursuit, that drive, that <clears throat> keeps top talent around. It's not just compensation. Compensation certainly matters, but it's not just that. It's the freedom that they have, the enablement that they have to be who they truly are that keeps top talent around. So build that culture and environment where you're always aspiring for something bigger and better than what you have done last week or last month. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you have seen, please consider subscribing below. Share with your friends and colleagues, and most importantly, share your thoughts in the comments below on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.